Alright, so this is for those of you who don't really know how to use iPod Wizard and basically first time users. Um, what you really do is Windows Vista users have the most problems and it took me a while to find this out. But what you had to do is you right click on iPod Wizard and you run it as, as administrator. If you don't do that, it's pointless and you're going to get nowhere. So what you do is you click on iPod and you load the firmware. But since I don't have it, um, I'll just go to firmware file and open one of my firmware files. And I'll just say the firmware file for my uh, friend's iPod. Or I'll just go to the original. And I'll click open. It loads it up. Just wait a little bit. Sometimes people with XP or something like that will have to wait a bit longer. So now what you do is you make sure you're under firmware editor and then you go into pictures if you want to change the background and you click under index and once you click under index if you have a 5.5G iPod which is the one with the search capability you can um, you go to page ni picture 98 if it's no this is hold on loaded the wrong firmware <laughs> Okay, where is that crap? Okay. So, yeah, my bad. I had the wrong one. Some people say it's impossible to do this, but it's stupid to do this, but it doesn't fuck up your iPod. You just, as long as you can learn, you're good. Now, I have mine as the Halo picture. So, I'm going to use that as an example. And what I do is right here under firmware editor I don't know if you can really see that because the camera is kind of crappy right now um, you click under firmware and make sure it's under firmware editor, and then click under pictures once you do that go to go to part 98 once you do that you can see the background picture and for those who started at the beginning we'll get a blank picture and then what you do is you go to load bitmap and just pick whatever you want um, sometimes you have to edit the picture, but I'll just say this one. It's another one of my Halo pictures, and I'll open it, and then I'll use that. Once I got that, I'll click Write to iPod, and it'll write. I, I can't really write right now because uh, I let my iPod out, but get the picture. 